In my life, I had never seen Motherwell beat Rangers in the league. 1997 was the last time at Ibrox, and Boxing Day 2002 was the last time period. Given my first attended match was in 2005, beating Rangers isn't a feeling I'm too familiar with, except the playoffs and a cup semi at Hamden. The league leaders had won all 11 of their matches in 2024 so far. With Motherwell winning their first away game in 25 weeks on Wednesday at Livingston, I was hoping that wins on the road would become like London buses. Also, I must remind you guys to subscribe if you haven't already, as this is the best place on the internet to find Gogsy Tears. <laughs> So my prediction for today, my head says it will give me 3-1 but my heart is hopeful after a nice win at Livingston on Wednesday but this is a completely different ball game, it's a different pitch, different team we're against, much more technical. As long as we just give a good account of ourselves, hold on as long as we possibly can, you never know what might happen. That means the referee doesn't know who to give a penalty to. And we're off. And instantly lose 100% We've got them pinned back. Go on, Theo. Yes. Go on, George. Come on, come on! Come on, Noel! And encouraged for the first four minutes. Oh, oh Bevis.
So blown me. Yeah! We are leading against the league leaders, Rangers 1 0. I don't think it's going to last, but so far, so good. I think we've been excellent in almost every department. Defensively, we've been 9 out of 10, I'd say. Um, We've had a few moments where we switched off and Rangers haven't capitalised it. We took the lead very early on in Rio Bear. Well, we've just been sitting backs to the wall, but it's going to be like that. It's going to be a really long second half. So, yeah, 1-0 up at half time. I want to bask in this moment just a wee bit longer. And here we go, the second half to about to kick off. On the well. To be honest, full time would be very welcome right now, but... Here we go for a long second half. Well, that's one minute done already. <laughs> yeah. Go on, Jack. Oh, Stephen O'Donnell. Rolls Royce of a fullback. Wonderful. Oh. Oh, feel here. Oh.
you're drawing against Motherwell. And he is offside. Go on. Oh my 
Honestly, it is Sunday at 10 o'clock now, I think, and I'm ecstatic about our result yesterday. Uh, I was up till 2 in the morning editing and I had to take a break. Yes! <laughs> we started so well. Um, I didn't expect us to come out of the traps like we did, and we took an early lead through Theo Bear after 9 minutes. And then, f basically, for the rest of the half, apart from a couple of chances we had, or half chances... Uh, it was all Rangers, it was backs to the wall We were solid defensively uh, Even though we did make a couple mistakes Rangers didn't capitalise on them And that's where they lost the game There was a tackle by Dan Casey in the first half That uh, Rangers fans are claiming should have been a red But Sports Scene said that because, or, Sorry, James McFadden said that And of course because of his Motherwell affiliation like He's saying that there was no contact from the studs of Dan Casey's and basically because he shot out of the 50-50 there was no foul. Then the second half kicked off and it was even more backs to the wall stuff. Rangers scored and then it was disallowed for offside thankfully um, because I think there was about two or three Rangers players in an offside position. We still held our ground and unfortunately we gave away that penalty two minutes after we hit the bar. O'Donnell goes to ground, he gives the referee a decision to make it's a cop out thing to say, but like I, deep down, I think it was soft, but it was a late tackle, and Dan Casey getting in the way of Silva didn't help things either. Even though I don't think he had anything to do with it, it was just down to Stephen O'Donnell's tackle. But the fact it took like five or six minutes to actually sort out was an absolute farce. And also, Stephen O'Donnell was lucky because of the wee elbow. Uh, he had on Diamonde, I think, and uh, yeah, he, he was a lucky boy yesterday. But that doesn't excuse for what a wonderful performance he put in, despite the errors that he made. Going forward, he, he did absolutely everything a fullback should do, and I think we should commend him for that, because he's been under a lot of scrutiny recently, and he's come through and put in that performance. He's been putting in 7 out of 10s uh, in the last month or so. 
It's just that the, the mistakes are louder than his performances. Tavernier scores the penalty. It's a nervy time. But then that actually wakes us up and we start attacking and we go and grab the winning goal in Dan Casey. It was a wonderful ball in by Blair Spittle and a fantastic moment to behold. It's my highlight of the season and I know we're going to get criticised for being a small club. Oh, beating Rangers is your cup final. Get it right up here. Honestly, like the amount of shit I've gone through because we've been beaten by Rangers or we've not got a result and the results against Celtic haven't reflected our performances this season as well. I'm just over the moon that we managed to get a result on Saturday. And uh, yeah, this is where I'm going to leave you guys and I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. And <sighs> yes, <laughs> oh, I will be laughing for some time. Anyway guys, please leave a like down below if you want more of this snazzy content. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Gogsy 99. I bet you wish you were. I've not said that in a while. Because I'm happy now. Uh, but yeah. I'll see you guys later. Take care.